Good morning, guys. So, as we know, I have my shiny Tandon radio here. It's fantastic, but I need to upgrade the firmware. And how am I going to do that? Let's run you through it. It's quite simple in the end. First off, you're going to want to get onto the GitHub repository. Now, we see over here, this is on Ethos 0.015 at the moment. It's a private repository, so you guys, unless you're a member of this project, are not going to be able to get the data right now. However, I'm sure at some point in the future when the radio gets out there and gets a little bit more wide testing, this repository will be opened up. So, what we've got here is we have a list of firmwares, and you can see here we have the FCC and the EU. And quite clear is the fact that Ethos is being built currently to support the X10 and the X20 range of radios. In my case, I have already downloaded the firmware X20 EU edition because I'm obviously in Europe. Now, radio-wise, what we're going to do, pull the two buttons in. So the two trim buttons get pulled in and we power up. And immediately it goes into bootloader mode. Now, I advise do not plug your USB into the radio first. If you do that, it's not going to work. So you want to power the radio up and get into bootloader first. We then get our handy Type-C USB and we are going to plug that into the radio's port at the back. There we go. You should, if all goes well, get two disk drives appearing. In my case, I've got one which has audio bitmaps and models and I've also got one with just bitmaps in it. Now what you want to do is essentially copy your firmware in that you downloaded and if we do that I've actually already got a copy on there from a previous test I did to verify this works but so I will replace but normally you would not expect to have anything there. There is a very very important step to do at this point You'll notice the name of the firmware is firmware dash whatever based on what you have. It will not work unless you change the name of this. So in my case, this is just simply a case of changing that long name to firmware.bin. Take out the junk, just straight firmware.bin. Next step, dead easy, unplug the USB. And you'll see what happens here on the radio. It immediately detected there was a file called firmware.bin and it starts to flash the radio. Now this process, it's about a 15 to 20 second process. I'm being forced to net it to speed this up. Maybe I'll speed it up in the video, but I doubt it. So there we go. We watch the bar graph go along. Da, da, da. And at the end of this, once the flash is completed, what we've got to do is simply power the radio off and power it on. Boom. Back to the bootloader screen, and as I said, we power it off, and then we power it on. Welcome to Ethos. Switch warning. And there you go. Done. We have flashed the radio. Now, depending on what your versions are you're going on, you may receive prompts to recalibrate your sticks. That's kind of fuel for a different um, video, and I think the whole calibration procedure we'll do separately. But in terms of the upgrade of the firmware, really dead easy and I dare say completely bulletproof. I don't think it's even possible to brick this radio because of how it's been done at the bootloader sort of environment. It's kind of the firmware simply cannot effectively overwrite and brick your radio. Good stuff. Hope that's um, informative and helps you. Cheers.